if you think like a, my, I have a friend who uh, went to to Berkeley, to Berkeley guitarist, and like jazz people are like jazz is so much like there's that other aspect of jazz where it's just like okay I gotta go into training like, into the shed yeah. and just like practice and practice and like just review like just you constantly have to practice. there's I mean, so much there's so much like little pieces that go go into uh, yeah, just in terms absolutely. of like getting a hand. You gotta learn your memory. scales, yeah. chords, your progressions. Exactly, it's just so much to learn. We are, we are on grand finals here with MC David in Trier. Yeah. Oh, no, I think so. This. Is that a homie stock? I don't think that this is a, a bunch of yeah, GG's, is man. Oh, is this it? All right, so. It looked like a hand warmers, didn't it? It did, and, and the, the homie stock there was. Uh, Wait, yeah, who, we were, who homie we stocked there? We, yeah, we were lost in the sauce. We songs. were busy who talking about jazz. Who's, who homie stocked there? I think that uh, MC David homie stocked MC David? Trier. Okay. I mean, that tries. Right. Yeah. And that shows you that this is all in, uh, you know, this is all in good nature. One yeah. of the most important things about the game is the community Just aspect. Have fun. So, yeah. Yeah. So if it makes the game better. Yeah, exactly. You know, at the end of the day, it's about having fun. We're just having fun here, all right? You know, to certain N companies, you know, uh, oh, yeah. NI, you know, T, you know. So no, we don't, like don't want to get shut down here. Yeah. It's just fun. Come on. Well, MC David is looking to hold his own. He's up one stock here after the homie stock. Um, and this is notoriously a very, very difficult matchup for uh, ice climbers. Yes. And so he really wants to keep this as close as possible and clinch this out and not have to go to a game or to a set two. Yes. And allow MC David to get as much, you know, in-game information as he can. Exactly. He's got to use all of his tricks while he can. Nonetheless, MC David in the lead here. In terms of percent, that Popo uh, is solo right now. Ryan is solo. Oh, did you see how he jabbed the turnip? That was kind of. Cool. Oh, he's probably just trying to grab it. That's... No, I think I think it was. Uh, I think it's new Trier technology. Trier, Trier is tech. any any technology that involves being grounded for ice climbers. Trier knows. Like Trier is all about uh, just finding the best situation while on the stage. He is a technician. Yes. Ooh. <laughs> so that turnip throw. Tree has been uh, labbing this matchup uh, pretty well, you know, because it's it's, you know, you have to if it's your worst matchup, you got to be able to play it. Yeah, well, you have like a character like uh, I don't know, like Doctor Mario, uh, or not Doctor Mario. That's a bad example. More like uh, you have a character like Mario, where it's like, yeah, uh, versus Fox, that's like a 70-30 matchup, but it's like, you know. There are things I can do. You know, if I play perfectly and I, I know all my technology, oh. you can win. You can see matchups like that where it's just like, you know, Young Link Fox, where it's like, Fox should destroy Young Link. But if you but don't, like, if you don't you know, know how yeah. to punish, uh, you know, worse characters on the tier list, then yeah. a lot of times if you don't know how to deal with their tricks, then they they will trick you and you will lose the. Yeah. No. MC MC, MC David knowing all about it. Uh, nice. Kid. Because they these two have played uh, several sets uh, against each other. Uh, Trie uh, definitely uh, used to what MC David wants to do, but you know, more more importantly, MC David. Uh, yeah, it looks like this might be a yeah. Trie's gonna have to do some sort of level up, otherwise uh, MC David could uh, take this all the way back from losers. And uh, it takes him one, so uh, that's gonna be good for him to start Dude, out. Looking looking composed, taking a deep breath. So he, you know, he is in losers, but he's. Because of this difficult matchup, he has a little bit of a, a powerful position here. I wouldn't say it's his game to lose, but uh, it's up to Trier to really press uh, the, the, the issue in the neutral game and make sure that things don't get out of hand. That Nair was uh, very smart there for MC David, just uh, holding range there. Gets that up B Peristool, uh, putting the damage on that Sopo. Nonetheless, Trie having some sort of recovery there, going low, but MC David snuffing it out. MC David just trying to keep him off the stage here right now. Nice. Nice Nair out of shield. Okay, well, gets the Nair there. This has been such a long edge guard. Let's see if he can finally. There it goes. Yeah. 
Okay, so uh, MC David taking the first stock. Looking pretty solid right now. Does get back air. Was looking for the uh, up air, but MC David knowing to go out there with his DI. You know, and Peach, her down smash is certainly an issue for uh, Ice Climbers to deal with, but I also think another thing uh, that makes this matchup really difficult is turnups, because Peach can just sit, uh, kind of pick on on one of them with turnups and use it as a tool to desync them and keep them separated. Yes. Really good at keeping uh, Nana alive there from Trio. Oh. Ooh. Cool and MC David at magic percent gets that back air. Looking, four stocks to two. Yeah, like MC David's uh, running away with it right now. It's uh, looking like uh, what Peach Ice Climbers theoretically should look like. Let's see yeah. what Trier can do. Yes. Brings back the next stock. As a uh, example matchup here, uh, that uh, example showing that MC David's putting on right here. Putting a clinic on why uh, why Peach wins this matchup so solidly, uh, just doing all the right things to uh, mess up the ice climbers, just separate them early to where they have to just scramble to get back together. Nice recovery of Nana there from Trier. That's a really important. Do you find this matchup like now as a Peach? Is it just like you destroy ice climbers, or do you do you also find it fun? Is it like a fun sort of destroy, or is it more like a uh, I just throw out, I just like cheese to destroy. Um, I think, I mean, it, it comes back to kind of what we were saying, where you have to know the formula of how to beat yeah. uh, a worse character or a character that you have a winning matchup with. Yeah. Uh, but if you if you don't do that, or if you don't choose to like engage with them in that way and kind of exploit them, um, then I mean, it is it's a fun matchup, but it. It kind of so when you're playing against Puff, if Puff doesn't keep drifting away from you and just stay out of your range, then it's a winning matchup for Peach because Peach will punish the approaching Puff very consistently. Yeah. But if the Puff By just the says, way, right. back air drift away. Yeah. Wait. Oh. Yeah. We have a Donkey Kong on stream. Just wanted to mention it. Just wanted to mention it because Trier uh, had been talking about this, uh, you know, for several weeks. Where it's like, I might just go Donkey Kong against yeah. uh, against Peach. That's my secondary, uh, and he has the perfect time to try it out. But uh, yeah. We're, sorry. What were you saying? I didn't mean you. Cut, no, cut no, it no. I, I mean, it, it wasn't you. It was the Donkey Kong on screen. I, I yeah. love to see a Donkey Kong, especially in a a problem matchup where you know you might not. You might not have the luck with Ices, but maybe the Kong. Maybe the Kong is the answer. Yeah. Well, Kong, the uh, it's kind of the year of Kong right now. It's the Renaissance. Uh, with Donkey Kong. You know, you saw Junebug's, Junebug's performance at a Big House was just incredible. Out Junebug. of this world. And also, you know, the fact that uh, he also has won, uh, you know, several local events. Yeah, no here. stranger to Xanadu's. He's, he has a few yeah. Xanadu titles. A few, a, a few um, M series. Uh, and uh, and of Legends. course, a uh, whatever One incredible Xanadu place he, he finished. In, hey, have a good night, you See guys. It. Whatever uh, wonderful place he finished in Big House with the probably the most legendary uh, DK run of all time is, is June Bug and San. Uh, Big House 2023, I think he placed top 16 or 24. Yeah. Very yeah. impressive. I mean, debatable, because uh, recently a lot of people have brought up um, there's a set between, uh, uh, this is way back, but Bum, I think got fourth at, I forget which major, but Bo Bum got fourth beating Chudat. Yeah, like, I saw when that. Chudat was like sixth or seventh in the world. Yeah. So. Uh, and that brings us to the kind of, the, the whole issue when you compare eras, where you have Big House, which is, Thousand entrants, and I think uh, that that uh, tournament had maybe 70 entrants. Yeah. Uh, and the skill level is different, and I think you just have to kind of contextualize times. But I don't want to discount either of those achievements because any any amount of DK success is all right with me, of course. True. Oh, nice and air to catch him there. Yeah, that would be kind of getting stuffed, and uh, yeah, Trey was trying it. It was a Worthwhile experiment, yeah, but looks uh, like the MC DK David takes it. Might not work, at least for that game. Let's 
see if Trier goes back to DK or if he returns to Ice Climbers. Yeah. And that will be the uh, the evener there. So now whoever wins this set takes home the grand prize of the Xandru belt. So uh, MC David just looking to keep it up. Trier looking to figure out a way to get back. Like you said, now has a, you know, a fresh refresh, you has some data, fly. is kind of warmed up. And uh, I hear Jig, I, I hear Jigglypuff. I don't think that's right. No, no Peach. I, 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 I could have sworn I heard Jigglypuff. But Those are two of the know. most polarizing uh, matchups: is is Peach Puff and Peach Ice Climbers yeah, exactly. for different reasons. Yeah. It's kind of funny. You have like a t almost like a totem pole where it's like foxes at the top. And then below that's Puff, and then below that's Peach, and then below that's Ice Climbers, where they just like a pyramid of like messing each other up, or you know what I mean? Yeah, that's one of the many things that uh, makes this game beautiful, and you know, fighting games in general. I think the the dynamics between oh, that's a dot eyes. That's one of the better turnups. The fundamentals of just how how different characters and player styles interact. Yep. Gets the uh, forward throw. The Sopo trying to survive here. Uh, then they're going to do it. No longer. So MC David versus Trie is now uh, almost tied up there. Bracket reset. Yeah. Trie just needs his, some sort of kill. <laughs> just spams the forward smashes in a row. Just putting up a wall. Trying anything right now. Uh, and it, oh, that up smash works. So uh, tied it up. Tied it up. It is a close game. I wonder what he's uh, what he's doing differently to keep a nice grab. Yeah. All right. So gets the uh, the dare. Oh, see that that down air is another reason that Peach is so difficult in this matchup because both the the height that MC David is doing it is really hard for the ice climbers to contest with. Yes. And then it also desyncs them at the same time too. True. All right, let's get Nair. Nothing there, though. Uh, okay, gets that dash attack, but the Nana AI not cooperating right now. Um, yeah, and fair. again, that's that desync, is if you can get those, the Ice Climbers to, uh, to to lose their connection, then it's much easier to, to punish the individual ones. True. So that is a, an important goal of MC David here, winning this. MC David taking the lead again. Okay. So the dare fair gets the fair there. Nice. And you see again MC David with these these down airs into forward and back airs. It's really, really difficult for us comes to do it. Forward smash. Trie evens it back up. Trie, uh, despite uh, looking lost that first set, has started to manage uh, some sort of a comeback Bring it back, here. Speeding up the speeding up the game a little bit. Yeah. Nonetheless, that's the heartbreaking uh, part of it, is that... Uh, back here any, again with the Sopo. Yeah, anytime you think you're back, you just be put in a Sopo situation. You know, sometimes, you know, Sopo situation, you know, they're dire, you know. I don't want to be put in a Sopo situation, you know what I mean? It's like, you know, takes being, a real... being put in a Sopo situation, it's like, you know, it's like being a head, it's like the headlock of man, you know what I mean? It's like, you're just like, you just handicap. You gotta get at it, like you know. It's like being like like having one leg that just broke. It's you, like being fox with no shine. Yeah. You're just or like injured. Smash. Yeah, it's just like the injury of man. Like oh, if we're making an analog to real SD sports. SD to end the game. It's like playing through injury. MC David is on his way to taking this grands. So let's see if Tria can get on the board here. I, I think yeah. the last game was a 3-0. So it would be good to just get, get one game in there, whether it's through DK or the Rice Climbers. This could be the match to do it because Ice Climbers have a lot of potential to kill off of like stray smash attacks, which on a map like Battlefield or Dreamland is hard, but the small blast zones in uh, Yoshi's story will make getting smash attack kills much easier. Just for that fair. Good separating uh, action there from uh, Trier. Weird, Weird up the 
Doesn't get the fair there. Does get or no, does get an air off there. <laughs> Just floating up. The like matrix style like uh, missing of uh, whatever trio wants to throw out and then punishing after. Just like MC David is, is playing a, a stellar spacing game. Just uh, not letting Trie get any sort of thing started on the ground. Just floating right above there. You know? And then once he gets him in the air, Peach has really, really good uh, air mobility and is able to just separate him and then just sweep him across to the side of the screen into the blast zone. Like nice that. catch. Okay. Air dodges up. Ooh, oh, he almost thought he almost caught that ledge from him. Catch that. Move really the downer. Good side be there. And saves the Nana too. Let's see. And who oh, didn't know about the invincibility? And now all of a sudden Tria getting damage off that, even with that Nana. Yeah, it's gonna save the Nana again. Oh, oh but not, the Nana AI not cooperating there. Not quite this time. Now uh, Tria again uh, re injures. <laughs> it's gonna have to play from behind. Oh, can he make a ledge? Ice Climbers actually can't grab the ledge through their side B, so they actually need to go onto the ledge, which is really uh, important to know if you're trying to edge guard them, that they can't just grab the ledge from side B. All right, game is game is close here. Tria keeping it close, down by about 30%. Let's see if he can bring that back. Okay. A lot of down smashing going on right now. Yeah, well, that's one of the, I mean, that's one of Peach's best tools, but especially in this matchup. Side B, shenanigans. Works out for Trie, but not able to save that Nana. Now is going to have to uh, take an entire stock with Sopo. So or not, or just be on last stock here. The grab of that. Gets the dash attack. <laughs> the double jab to the music. Yeah, that's funny. Up air. Another up air. Pope. Pope or desyncs. Okay, Which is run. good, but not if you don't want it. Forward nice catch. Peach, Peach is uh, really good at these uh, mid-air turnarounds. Trier will go run and try to throw an up air and just get hit with a, uh, an up air in return from Peach or an air. Okay, that Nair is right. going to do it. This is uh, potentially Trier's last, last game, game yeah. final game. So let's see if he can pull this one through and uh, push it through. Surmount a, a reverse 5-0. Five, five oh. Yeah, so... Yeah, Trier just sticking with the ICs. You gotta. No point in changing now. It's your, uh, it's your lifeline to be able to win. But uh, nonetheless, Trier back in a very similar position here to, to usual. It, it's, it sucks for him too because like it was a one in three chance, you know, theoretically one in three chance of getting the peach, you know, your really bad matchup. Yep. And you draw the peach, you know what I mean? And, you know, it's kind of, you know, bad luck for Trier who was all the way in grand. Uh, but nonetheless, MC David earning it by getting here from, you know, making a loser's run, uh, being knocked out. Uh, I think I think winner semis, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. And a game like this can really show you the value of a good bracket. You know? Exactly. Gets the dash attack. Gets oh, the dash nice bash. spot dodge. Bash. Just bobbing and weaving around these grab attempts. Yep. Is the fair? You know, Tree is trying to hold his distance, but Peach has such a good a good way to pressure these characters that they just can't hide from. Trier. Yeah, looking rough. Does recover that Nana, but that Nana is gone. Nana's gone. Right after. So now, they have to take a full stock with Sopo. Yeah, I guess Nana. Never mind. Yeah, he's been going down to Sopo about every stock. Yep. Which shows you a little bit about, uh, you know, some good defense from, from Trier. Yep. Even, even if he is down in games right now. He's yeah. certainly a pretty spectacular player. Yeah, Trier is certainly trying his hardest, man. You're Sitting in grand finals, I mean, I, I didn't make grand finals. Yeah, sure. No, I mean, Trier is such a good player. It's just, you know, this... It's, it's unfortunate. Sucks. It's, it really sucks that, like, 
Trier is in this position, but you know, it is what it is. You know, that's the that's the territory of you know what comes with being a ice climbers player as Trier on last stop. Man. Yeah, you know when it's. It always goes to, do you want to pick up a secondary in yeah. order to address this? Peach players deal with this a lot too with Puff, where a lot of Peach players will pick up a Fox in order yeah. to deal with the Puff matchup. But then there's the other camp of, do I want to commit to just staying and riding this out and grinding the matchup? And maybe there's something we haven't figured out yet. Yeah. But this is, looks very difficult for Trie to, to pull this yeah. back. Last Nana save. This is potentially the last. Well, it is Trier's last stock of the tournament. <laughs> Ooh, that was slick. I like that he pulled that out. You know, trying to take something home with him, even though uh, it is a pretty bad position. Oh, yeah. there he goes. All right, that's GG's. A smile from Trier knows that it was a good game, regardless of the outcome. And that is MC David from Losers for the win of Sandadu at Laurel Park. Yep. GG's everyone. Thank you, uh, Johnny. Thank yeah, you for no commentating problem. with me here today. Thank yep. you for anyone and everybody watching. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and congratulations, GG's. Okay. I think we're. Uh, I just want to say one thing. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Well, do you want a winner's interview? Yeah. Oh, we can, yeah, we can do that. Okay, too. sick. All right. Uh, do you want to yeah, sign up? Everyone, GG's. This has been Milk on Comms. So I hope you have a wonderful day. Uh, congrats to MC David. Here yeah. You go. Thanks for coming out. Hey. Excellent. Nice. So how you feeling? Uh, I just want to say, uh, I guess this is the week of losers' runs nobody wanted to see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 We were talking. We were talking in, like literally after Trier got into grands. It was like, okay, now he's a one in three shot at losing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Guaranteed. The one guy he beat, the other guy he beat, or the third guy who he hasn't beaten yet. Exactly. And like he just. He just used snake eyes. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. I mean, I was playing really hot tonight, to be yeah. honest. By the time I got to, like, finals and stuff. Yeah. So that didn't help. <laughs> no, that that too. Like, I was so, like, both Spark and Matt and Stick at points during their sets. They, they, you made them look lost in ways that, like, they usually don't. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Matt was mad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I have that effect on people from Virginia. What can I say? Yeah, sometimes it happens. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, hey, it's it's not like you're, uh, you know, there's worse. There's like, you're pretty like standard out, honestly. It's just That's you do you it. just like win interactions where it's that that yeah. like the opponent is just like, what? I, I lost. Yeah. I think a lot of it's that I'm better at neutral than I am at punish. Yeah. So. <laughs> If I win, a, if I take a stock, that probably means that I beat you in neutral like seven times and yeah. do some wiener like just like a weak back air because I freaking missed the strong back air. Yeah. And that's just, that's actually more frustrating than playing somebody who actually combos you. No, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but like, it's like you're able to like just run over people uh, in like a longer form. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Where it's like the game's not going long because you're not interacting. The game's only going long because it's like you're getting like, you're like, okay. I'll just win the best interaction that I can yeah. and then do that over and over and that'll wear you down. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Very gradually get back to center and then only fight from center so that when I do lose, I take, I, I have the farthest distance away from dying. Yeah. Yeah. That's huge. I don't know. That's nice. Yeah. No, but I mean, nonetheless, like having to still spark and such a good player, or like having to, uh, to get through him and then also stick both of those matchups that are, are not the best for Peach. Yeah. You know, turning it around. Because uh, Stick beat yeah. me in winners, too. Yeah, so, that uh, too. A, a big swing. Yeah. What do, you, what do you think was the adjustment that you made? So I, I, I don't know. I just, I wasn't playing my normal game plan. I didn't realize it until, I, I, I was fortunate enough that right after Stick, I had to play another Falcon. Um, and then during that set, I was like, oh, right. That's what, like, uh, there's a, my general game plan is you do, like, full hop height back airs, and that comes down. And then if he's coming in at that moment with knee or stomp or nair, it beats all those three things clean. And if they just wait, then it becomes a mix-up of what do I do immediately afterwards. I could do the back air into crouch cancel. I could do the back air into dash attack. I can do the back air into dash away. And either of those things, if the Galfa can guess is wrong, then I get a big reward over it. So it's like a... Instead of a 50-50, it's like a 70-30, you know, a weighted gamble. And yeah. I wasn't doing that at all in the first set. I was trying to, like, dash dance around him like I was fighting a fox, which was stupid. Yeah. I don't know. I just, if you don't fight a falcon for a couple of weeks, you forget. <laughs> yeah. No, that's, it's, it's almost staggering sometimes when it's like, 
as a Falcon player, if someone doesn't know the matchup and they're a Peach, I'm just like, wait, let's go. I smell blood. Yeah. But then it's like when you when they're they actually like know. It's very like similar to like Falco. Fal mm -hmm. I think Falcos and Falcons share this sort of aspect where it's like you you might beat you know Peach, but it's not going to be easy. You have and then when Peach like is on their game, then it's it's you can still just get messed up. Uh, yeah. And especially when they just counter your specific characters, like what they want to do. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, yeah, like taking taking advantage of that so huge and a mm -hmm. uh, big reason why uh, you're up here uh, and uh, you got the, uh, the got winner's a, yet another belt you know, <laughs> back yeah. in the winner's circle. Yeah. Always feels good. Yeah. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. It's good. Sorry, scene. Cody. Yeah. <laughs> Cody? Uh, I made fun of. I said two losers run nobody wanted to see. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. Referencing my own joke. For five oh, minutes. yeah. Well, I mean, you know, Cody's still cool. Yeah. I think. I, I think, think the two grand he won makes it like any jokes at his expense. I mean, it's still kind of it's still so ridiculous that he made that run. I think what's what's great about Cody though is like I don't really think he's like that that naturally talented for the game. He's just such a grinder, and he's yeah. just got a, such a great mentality. I played him on Anthers in like 2016. And yeah. we were evenly matched. Yeah. And then I played him again in 2017. I was like, oh, I lost pretty bad. I he must have gotten better. And by 2018, <laughs> he was a freaking top player. That's yeah. just bad. Meteoric rise. Yeah. And I'm just, uh, <laughs> I've been at this skill level for 15 years. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you have to, like, there's only one, you know, th there's only 10 players, right? Yeah. And to be in that spot, there's only, you know, out of so many people, uh, so, uh, you know, winning, just winning a tournament, yeah. you know, it's still... Still must be, you know, even if it's just yeah. a Xanadu. Yeah. Still, still yeah. always a cool experience. Anyway, I know our stream guy wants to go home, so I'm going to yes. stop talking. Yeah, shout outs uh, to Brig. Shout outs uh, to Brig. <laughs> shout outs, uh, set of the night. Oh, yeah, he, who made a crazy upset yeah. at uh, Big House, by the way. Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, yeah, so my set of the night would probably be you versus Sparkin' Man. Would you, oh, would you yeah. say so? I mean, that, that was nail biter, dude. I, yeah. I mean, that could have gone either way. I just got. I just got kind of lucky. Yeah. I mean, it goes that way sometimes. What's hilarious is I pulled two stitches in a row, and I was scared to throw them at him. Yeah. It's like, but that's not what won you the game. It was just, like, solidly, like, kicking yeah. him out. Just like, I was, I'm going to connect. I'm just yeah. not going to lose. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Huh. I, I was confident I could win one more neutral before he that's could really win one neutral. Yeah. Also, before I go, uh, and for anyone, I one last, th one last thing, Brig. I'm sorry about this. But I got a show. I actually, my band... Has our oh. first show coming up this Saturday, so very uh, cool. Yeah, we're playing uh, in uh, in Kensington at the uh, sounds soundscape stage. Uh, more on my Instagram, Nicholas underscore Blackman five, um, and uh, hopefully I see some of you who are in the Maryland area out there. Yeah, no, just want to do <laughs> a little of that because you know I've been working on it for the past <laughs> year, and you know, be excited. But anyway, enough about me. Congrats to you uh, for winning you the tournament. Uh, thank you to uh, Xanadu for uh, hosting, as always. Thanks to you to the Brig and uh, Nira for uh, TOing and uh, being behind the booth. That'll be it for me and uh, MC David. Congrats to MC David. All right. This is Johnny Lawrence signing out. Adios. Bye, y'all. <laughs>